Kedan is a is a major part of the game, you know, and you can't you can't take it away from the game. You just have to learn how to apply it at the right moments at the right time. And so for me, you know, if you are a, can be a good header of the ball, it's a huge attribute to the game itself and to you as a as a as a player. And honestly, watching it, the 1994 World Cup was really what turned me on to soccer, but Brazil at the time was phenomenal. And I remember Bebeto and Romario scoring goals with their head in every which way. And so the power of the heading was unbelievable. I also had a Pele VHS tape and, they, and one of the sections was heading. I think he was doing like neck exercises. It was the torso, it was the core, and then he would head a ball. I mean, it was unbelievable. So. Hi, my name is Beverly Giannis. I'm a professional soccer player and a youth soccer coach. Aerial training is a development program designed with the goal to prepare young soccer players to safely and effectively engage in aerial challenges and improve purposeful heading. At its core, Aerial is a teaching tool for coaches and players and a resource for the youth soccer community. For coaches, Aerial targets player safety and elevates team performance through improved player strength, coordination, and spatial awareness in all aspects of the game. For players, Aerial demonstrates proper technique, encourages safety through targeted muscle and motor skill development, and inspires improved individual performance. For the youth soccer community, Aerial delivers a consistent and credible philosophy to improve performance and opens a dialogue to increase awareness for head health and player safety. Aerial training's on-field activities have three primary goals. One, teach technique to provide tools for players to head the ball safely, effectively, and competently. Two, reduce injury-causing collisions by better preparing players to avoid contact through improved coordination and spatial awareness and by building strength in key muscle groups to improve players' ability to protect themselves during contact from aerial challenges and in all parts of the game. Three, improve fitness to counteract physical and mental deficiencies that lead to increased risk of injury when fatigued. Aerial training consists of six activities that address each of these goals in one or more ways. The six aerial activities are chase, launch pad, sim, jet, radar, and ace. Chase and ace engage players in fun, game-like activities. Chase prepares players to learn, and ace affords opportunities to practice and refine new skills. Launch pad and sim provide the technical and physical tools for success, while jet and radar challenge players to apply those tools in a competitive but controlled environment. Aerial is aligned with U.S. Soccer's heading initiative to reduce exposure to head injuries at younger age levels. Per guidelines established in U.S. Soccer's Player Health and Safety Program, recognized to recover, players ages 10 and under should not head the ball in training or games. For ages 11 to 13, heading in practice is limited to a maximum of 15 to 20 headers per player per week. Aerial training was developed specifically to guide players, coaches, and teams transitioning from not heading at all to heading the soccer ball in both training and games. <laughs>